She said you would come here to this place. If you think you can defeat me here, you are wrong. All this collected knowledge, all these teachings of combat and the Force, they are mine to command. And if I must use it to end you, I will. Surrender. You need not die. Atris. That is not who I am. Not any longer. She has not existed for some time, I think. There was always something else within me. It just took time for its voice to be heard. The old woman you travelled with finally made me listen to myself, to the galaxy. She said that you would come here, and that you would face me in battle. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been part of my plans for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith and wipe them out forever. These Sith are cowards, striking from the shadows to kill Jedi. I needed a target to draw them out, but I could not risk my own life, all that remained of the Jedi. So I arranged for you to return to the Republic, leaked information of your past, and then waited for the Sith to come. And they did. But you came to Telos against my predictions. Now they are here, I can finally face this enemy and defeat them. All the knowledge of the Sith, gathered from across the galaxy, brought here by my servants, so that I might uncover their secrets and use them to track them down. But now they have been drawn from the shadows of the outer room, and the only final matter to attend to is finishing you. When the Sith are destroyed, then I shall rebuild the Jedi Order again. They shall have none of the weaknesses of before. They shall be strong, willing to take battle to any who oppose them and weaken the Republic. They shall not train those who are easily corrupted. No more students that will bring war and hate to the galaxy. The Sith are the Jedi, the Jedi are the Sith. What matters is that they be preserved. All the law, all the teachings brought to a new generation. I am the last of the Jedi, and I will show them this truth. Bring it to the galaxy. I did not flee. I did what was necessary to fight the Sith and preserve the last of the Jedi. Yes, I sensed what would happen on Katana. It was I who leaked knowledge of its presence in the hopes of drawing the Sith out. I will not deceive you. I knew what could happen there, but it had to be done to make the Sith reveal themselves. But I did not know the extent of their power and what that meant for the Jedi. I will not underestimate them again. They knew the risk, because they sought to hide, to reflect, to hesitate while our numbers thinned and Jedi died. They knew the risks in going to Qatar, and they deserved what happened to them. It was their punishment for hiding from the galaxy, for hiding from me. Another way, as cowards, who are these Jedi who survived the Jedi Civil War? They're not the Jedi I know, the ones I once worshipped. They are cowards, and doubters, and afraid. What manner of Jedi hide from a threat, and turn on their own, and imprison them on dead worlds? I do not know, yet, but it does not matter. They have come here to face the Republic in battle, and they will be destroyed. Yes, the Sith are here at last. You have brought them to this place as I had foreseen. It has all been part of my plans for you. And when I defeat you and the forces you have brought to Telos, I shall take the battle to the heart of the Sith and wipe them out forever. Surrender to you, never. Let us end this. Kill me. End this. 
I did not expect mercy from you. At the end, after all that has happened between us. If you will not kill me, then what will you do? This knowledge of the Sith and the Jedi is what I am. It is my attempt to hold on to the past, to try and protect the future. Once I was a historian, the chronicler of the Jedi, and when both wars passed me by, I was determined that I would not forsake battle again. In some part of me, I knew I had made choices, compromises, but always for the sake of the Republic, of the galaxy. To do what you had done, at times, did not seem so wrong. To fight such a threat, sometimes one's choices seem narrower than they are, until it seems there is no solid foundation on which to stand. I feel that I understand what drove you to battle, to fight the Mandalorians. It was something you could not turn away from. Where she walks is hidden from my eyes, but not from those of her kind. It is possible I may draw one last piece of knowledge from these holocrons. You always knew where they were striking from. You always knew. These Sith are spawned of you. Spawned by the Mandalorian wounds. All those deaths. All those Jedi. Their power is to feed on life until nothing is left except a hollow galaxy echoing with the screams of the Jedi lost to us. Yes, I had thought she was awaiting me at that place, but I see now that she lied. It was not meant for me, but for you. She has gone there. She is waiting for you to travel to Malakor 5 to finish what you started. Yes, you are an echo in the Force, a hollow space where it has been wounded. It takes a great act of destruction to create such emptiness, but it can be done. It creates places where the Force is difficult to hear and difficult to find one's way, and you carry it with you, always. Now she seeks to create another echo, a wound in the Force, greater than the one before, greater than the one you caused. It will deafen all touched by the Force until no life is left. You were strong enough to withstand it once, but few have your strength in such matters, especially if they are unprepared. I do not know, but she needs you there. If you choose not to follow, she will murder herself at the heart of Malachor and you will die along with her. You are important to her somehow, but I... But I do not know her so. She is willing to sacrifice herself at the heart of that graveyard world for you. A choice others have made in the past. A choice I wish to make. It is because I care for you. And I suspect that you alone hold that place in her heart where nothing else lives. And that is why you are the only one who can stop the destruction to come. She seeks the death of all Jedi, all Sith, and the death of the Force. It is madness, it is impossible, but she believes you are the key. There are places in the galaxy dead to the Force where nothing lives, where the echoes travel forever and do not reach their destination. And these places may be created, even from the simplest of events, the slightest of motions. One person, at the right place, at the right time, can change the face of the galaxy, or end it. Because the Force had been stripped from her, 
as it had been torn from you. At times, I wonder what we would be if the Force was taken from us. If we would truly be Jedi or Sith, or simply human. There are places in the galaxy dead to the Force where nothing lives, where the Echoes travel forever and do not reach their destination. And these places may be created, even from the simplest of events, the slightest of motions. One person, at the right place, at the right time, can change the face of the galaxy, or end it. You're important to her somehow, but I... But I do not know, sir. And what will you do with me now? Abandon me here on this dead world? Or end my life as I wish to end yours? It does not matter. Not now. It is what I did with such pain that caused the wound. But I thank you. <laughs> Leave now, while you can. Save Telos. Save the galaxy. Save yourself. No, I could not bring myself to tell her. It would have changed nothing. And because I was afraid. You know what lies at the heart of Malachor 5. I had thought it was in the past, yet it has become the future. And all that has happened there will happen again. And that is why I cannot bear it. Because it is Malachor 5. And because she was lost there once. And I fear she will be lost again. I do not understand why the Sith permit such teachings to exist. They cause only echoes, wounds in the Force. A beacon? For who? You came for me. I thought I had lost you. She said the Council had ended you, and all along she was one of those who had sought to kill us. When I heard her say that you were dead, I, I failed you. I let my emotion run through me and I acted without thinking. I wanted to punish her, hurt her, see her answer for what she had done to the Jedi for leading you to the Council. Uh, forgive my display. I... I am the last of the Handmaidens no longer. I am Brianna, disciple of the last of the Jedi, and the one who will stand with you against all enemies who face us. It is good to hear it, after so long. 